The other day, I got the chance to play with Ebates, who is a top 250 ranked resurgence player, and he dropped a 22 kill game in a Crimson lobby. He was on an alt account here. You can see right here that we are all in Crimson for this game. So we're going to be breaking down this gameplay from his perspective, going over a lot of things that I learned from playing with a top 250 player. Real quick before we jump in, links to his Twitch and YouTube down in the comments below. Make sure you go check him out on Twitch, guys. He streams pretty much every single day, and he streams both ranked resurgence as well as normal resurgence. Now, starting off, we're going for this most wanted contract. A few things that I want to talk about here. First things first, he kind of said his general rule of thumb is if he feels that it's going to be uncontested, you know, notice we're on the outskirts of the map here. We got a pretty far rotation. He's going to go for the most wanted contract. Now, if he feels that it's going to be hot, then you know what? We're just going to go with a scavenger contract. But the most important thing is getting that loadout down early. Also notice here that we're in pier. We're not in town. We're not in keep. We're not in winery. Guys, you don't have to land there to drop a high kill game. It's about getting momentum early and carrying that momentum through mid game and end game, which is exactly what you're going to see. I myself here kind of end up in the blender a little bit for this early game, but we really get that momentum going for, for mid game and late game. Now he's going to go ahead, pop this advanced UAV. I know some people will be like, oh, you got a little lucky there. A TCAP said this advanced UAV might be in this shack every single single game haven't confirmed it yet but if it is make sure we take note of that so we're going to go ahead and push up now first thing that you are going to see a ton here that i want to talk about live ping right so this live ping right here allows us to track that enemy if you are subscribed which by the way my last ranked video only 30 percent of the people that watched it were subscribed so Take a second. If you are looking to get better, make sure you are subscribed down below. But the live ping allows him to easily track this through the wall here. He's able to shoot through it, able to get that down. But what do we notice on the minimap? Look how many enemies there are. One, two, three, four. So you're going to hear him comp two teams here. Yes. That's two different teams. Right? So we immediately have to take note that we've got a bunch of people around us here, and we've got another team pushing over. Good knock right there. You're going to see me down enemy number two on the kill feed right here. So down enemy number two and get the thirst. Ebates is going to pull back. Obviously has this guy to the left side. And what does he do? He just challenges this enemy to get the re-knock. That guy's low health. Challenges with a pistol. Make sure you take advantage of that core 45, guys. Core 45 or Natty are both really, really good. You can use those. Now look where I am here. I'm starting to push over this last enemy, right? Let's go ahead and push. But what does Ebates say? Ebates says, hey, we've got loadout here. 34 seconds left on this most wanted. We get 15K right here. We already have 3480. Let's go ahead and just get loadout. And then we'll really start to push. So this is just one of those gameplay strategy things where, hey, let's not hyper focus on that one kill. That one kill would be great. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not a ton of SR. So let's go ahead, grab our loadout here. And then we're going to go ahead and start to push. Obviously, uh, we get loadout down. Let's go ahead and push this forward just a little bit. And then Ebates is going to get high alerted. In terms of his loadout right here, this was pre-update, guys. Make sure you check out ggs.ai for the best weapons. It's a website I help create. It uses an algorithm to find the best weapons based on your play style. Good shots right there with the MTZ. And we're going to go ahead and push this. Now, this is one of the biggest things that I want to talk about. This is one of the biggest areas a lot of you struggle control and pressure. We are going to have control of a lot of these fights because we are the ones pushing. Now, when we have control of the fights and we get that early down, we are going to put the pressure on and force them to make mistakes. Even if it means that one of us die, at the end of the day, we're able to get those trades. Now, watch how he approaches this. We have the UAV up. Why? Because he calmed and told me to pop one, right? Listen. It's three, I think. Pop a UAV, Joe. So he's paying attention to my cash flow as well. Would I have popped a UAV? Probably. But Ebates isn't going to assume that I know that I have $7,000. That's a big area that a lot of you need to work on is cash flow awareness, but also just comment to your teammates, hey, go ahead and buy UAV, get that UAV up. Now we have the information that we need. We have information. We have loadout. Watch his approach to this fight. I love this approach. I'm going to let it play, and then we'll go ahead, and I want to talk through what I love about it. And then he's going to do it again here in a little bit. This guy running yeah, is cracked, knocked, dead. So what does he do here? And also, we're going to pay attention to something else here in a second. So he throws this nade, right? Uses his frag, gets the break. Now, a lot of us push in here, right? We push straight through. We push through here. We push back. And this guy just keeps running away and running away. What he's going to do is he's going to take this wide angle here, which really allows him to catch this guy out in the open. But it also gives him cover from this right side. Remember, he just went and put pressure on this enemy by swinging this a little bit wide. What he didn't necessarily check is that this enemy had rotated out. So if this enemy happened to be kind of in this building and he rotates through, then what happens is Ebates end up 
ends up dying. But now, because he swung it wide, he's got this cover to his right side just in case that enemy had been a little bit closer. Now, what we see here is going to get the down, get the thirst, notice his two enemies, and then as TCAP pops the UAV, we immediately notice two more enemies here in Lighthouse. Now, I think a lot of you guys pick up on the fact that this is two teams, right? So nothing crazy there. Have to pick up on that. But this is a little pro tip that I'll teach you. A lot of pro players using this, which is what they're calling the Sky Nade. A lot of pro players using frag grenades. They do a ton of damage, and they're really, really versatile, especially kind of in Lighthouse. The other place that you can use this is the spiral buildings. So the frag grenades take five seconds to explode. You can either cook it or just chuck it, right? So you can cook it for a few seconds and then throw it or you can just let him loose he's gonna let it loose now, yep. straight up yeah, in the air back, yeah. and basically when yeah, he no, lets go yeah, by well the time it hits it is just going to explode right, that yeah, enemy yeah. does not have time to react now he doesn't end up hitting anything right there but the, that is definitely something that you can use for lighthousing you can use for those spiral buildings for teams camping up top so back in here notice three kills still a bunch of teams left right here we're gonna see execution really hip fire before he ADSs. he un ADSs here and then continues used to hit fire to track definitely something that i talk about all the time in my videos but this is the bigger one this is an hrm9 that he's using not this is a normal build this isn't a hip fire build but what does he do he just commits to it and we see him commit to it all the time in these close quarters by the way ebates is a top 250 player slide cancel around the corner all high damage areas easily able to get that kill right and just like that means he capped our back this is where i was in the blender a little bit because what happens is the first time i died to this team that's up top now i do want to talk about the control and pressure dynamic of fighting this team here in a second because this is a really tough fight and we make it look pretty easy now right here he gets the break he's going to go ahead He's going to tag that guy a little bit, just kind of trading plates. By the way, I end up dying to another team that is actually across here at Winery. So the first time I went down to this team right here, the second time I went down to a guy right there. So got to be aware of that team potentially pushing over. Now, when we talk about that it's team like up top, you know, they have high ground, but nobody really has control of the fight, right? Because... At the end of the day, like, we're breaking them, they might break us, like, nobody's really going to be able to push unless somebody makes a mistake and get it down, at which point we start to put the pressure on. Still just kind of playing his cover here with the truck, finally able to get the knock right there, but he's got a bigger issue. He gets caught off guard. This guy gets absolutely slammed. Now, how does he get slammed? Literally my favorite move. This is a very simple move. This is a tax sprint. This is a slide, right? And then this is a jump in another direction. So you see how he jumps back to the left? That allows him to take a little bit less damage. Obviously, hits all high damage areas right, areas right there. And just, yeah, he bails himself out. That guy got absolutely slammed. It's what makes Ebates a top 250 player. Now let's focus on this team up the hill. Now, Ebates finally is able to get that knock. And he says, we should go push this. Like, let's just go now. Let's go now. Let's put the pressure on here. Let's try to keep control of this fight. That all is well and good until Ebates ends up going down. Now, they're going to revive here, but they're a little bit in shambles. Listen to what Ebates says. I want to break this down. This is important. Joe, go take top lighthouse and just watch her over, okay? Okay, so Ebates says, go take top lighthouse. Notice I'm still kind of regaining a little bit back here. I was, so I'm trailing behind. He says, go watch my over. So what he means by that is as him and TCAP are zipping... I am looking over them, making sure these guys are not playing right here or even looking down on them. Now, what happens is Ebates goes down in this situation. Sure enough, right on cue, what happens? TCAP doesn't have a smoke, and I'm able to get this knock right here. Why? Because I watched the over. Now, watch kind of when I end up pushing here. So he's going to get the full right there. He's going to plate up. Now we're in a 3v2 situation. There's two enemies up top. They're, uh, they're getting third party. Okay. So I said they're getting third party. Why? Because I have the over. I have the information. I can see the fact that they're fighting somebody, and that's just a little bit of positioning and spacing. Now I'm a little bit behind them, but I'm gonna push yeah. right back in the action here. They're gonna go after what does he do? This is this is a this is an advanced play, guys, and I'm giving you a lot. So Pull one, two, maybe three things for you and your squad and send this to your teammate as well that you can take out of it. He's going to smoke it, right? So he smokes it, which gives him the cover that he needs to be able to go ahead and push in. Sure enough, T-Cap's right behind. 
right on cue, you can see me pushing here and watch Ebates take the wide angle again, right? Doesn't want to get caught in this area right here where, where he can end up getting shot from a lot of different directions. Watch him take the wide angle oh, again. Sucks. Also notice on minimap that I'm flying over. Okay. Yep. Cracked. One on, uh, Cracked got downed. Thirsted. T-Cap gets a thirst as well. Last yeah, one flying yeah, yeah. in. We're going to go ahead and get a few little tags there. By the way, if you do tag a guy flying out of the sky and he died short, uh, dies shortly after, you do get an assist for that. So always be looking up. He's going to drop portable. Now, a little bit of a mistake here by Ebates, by the way, and this is just because Ebates is used to playing by, with top 250 guys. He just never comes what his plan is. So he comes in a little bit late, and it is what it is, guys. This is just where we're getting used to playing with one another. But you can see me start to push over towards this solo player, and Ebates is already working his way this way. A little bit of just... Yo, just look here, look here. He said, look here, look here. There's his calm, right? But obviously he's pushing ahead. And this is just the pacing of Ebates. Ebates is always going to the next fight, to the next fight. What do you notice? Load out right here. And I'm going to let this play a little bit, guys. I know I'm pausing a lot, but it's just how I like to do it. I talk through as much as possible and let you guys pull the important stuff from it. By the way, this end game gets absolutely insane. Portable radar down. What does he do? He smokes in front of him. Why? Because that gives him the cover to push up. Accidentally got on the ATV. Notice that breaks the high alert. Down, thirsted, two enemies, one above here, one on his level. So where does he look? Watch. Uh, two at the bar. Two at the bar. Look at his centering right here. Perfect on centering. Here. Down. Another one's on the lower left, like in nice. the corner. His comms are so, so good, especially in these gunfights. Very Keep clear down. and concise. One's still above me. Yep. It's kidding our crack here, too. Right here, right here. Down. Uh, the, the pacing of this is just... This is the biggest thing that I learned with him. The pace at which he plays at, right? So, you know, obviously he's going to play his cover. He's going to break the high alert over to his right side. And he knows that he has to worry about this guy. Down, thirsted. Execution, downed. Going to go ahead, start to work his way up. Plating as he's pushing. Recognizes the guy on his level to his right side. Challenges, execution. What do we do? Immediately back to this enemy right here. We throw the naded. And by the way, notice that I'm close by as well. So this is a lot of the spacing and a lot of the information. And where does that control and that pressure come from? Information and getting that first down and thirst, right? So that's one of the biggest things that a lot of you guys struggle with is you're never able to get momentum and you're never able to get the information about where exactly to push. One of the biggest things that I want you to work on, by the way, where does he go? He goes straight for the bounty contract. He goes straight for the bounty contract and then TCAP's gonna pop UAV. Right here out in the open here. Actually, he doesn't pop UAV. He just sees the enemy first. So he's gonna go ahead and work his way back this direction and then we're gonna go ahead and work into town. Notice he's already no, minus three SR. Nice guys, this smoke. is crimson. I think it's like a 90-something uh, ninety something deployment yeah. fee. He's gonna, already at minus three time. SR here in second circle. So we know that as long as we get to this end game, you know, he's in for a juicer here. Multiple teams straight ahead, right? Immediately see multiple teams right straight ahead. And we're going to go ahead and work this a little bit. Notice in this moment, guys, notice our team spacing, okay? So I'm right behind Ebates. TCAP is very far. Now, TCAP's far, but... One, two, and three are all aware that TCAP is far. So we are making decisions based on that. If you in this situation were to slow up and wait for TCAP, that is totally okay. Hey, we need to have a three here. Me and Ebates feel confident in ourselves that we can go push this knowing that TCAP is also working guys, his way can. over. Yeah, he said, I think we can fight this, these guys. Push in, downed, Semtex. Watch us trade this perfectly. I'm going to push in right behind. I'm going to go ahead and work this guy up top here. And then we get a little bit lucky there. Ebates takes him. I take the one up top. That is a super, super quick team wipe right there. Okay, let's get really rocking and rolling because I know we're 14 minutes into this already, guys. I Like I said, I really like to give you as much as possible. My whole goal is just to help you become a better player. You and your squad start to get you know more kills in ranks, start to get more wins in ranks, start to get more kills and wins in normal resurgence, whatever it is. Big thing here, guys, remember what I said. The way we keep control and put pressure on is with information. It starts with information. Pop number one. Pop number two. Now, he's going to go in and drop me cash so I can pop number three. That gives us an alive advanced UAV. But before that happens, Ebates is going to take note of all this information on the minimap. Everybody's down below. Now, when we talk about advanced UAVs, guys, these are not levels, okay? These are not levels. These are where the enemy is looking, the direction that they are looking. 
Okay, so that is a huge advantage and it's live. It is a live advanced UAV. This is why popping three, especially during fire sales, can be a huge advantage. A little bit unsure about where we want to push. So we're going to go ahead and push these guys down below here. Notice he's plus 32 SR already, guys. Plus 32. Are they in this house? No, I think they're all the way. Nope, they're all the way down. And we're a little bit hesitant to push, but we're going. I mean, it's the information that we have. We're going. Recon drone, take that out. Right here. He's going to wait. Play the stair glitch right here. Enemy number one. Notice that I take a ton of damage here, by the way. Notice that I am literally one bullet. Notice that I am one bullet right here. Downed. I don't have any smokes to help him here, but I am going to play this a little bit aggressive to be able to re-challenge. I get the down, get the thirst, so we know that there's one enemy left here, and watch how much pressure he puts on this guy. And for those of you that say this is a bot, guys, this is a diamond two player. That guy's not a bronze player. He's not a gold player. Like, that is a diamond two player. That is a player that should be in this lobby. A lot of lobbies, guys, are one should be one level up, one level down. I know some of you guys are struggling with being in lobbies with top 250 players and iridescent and crimson and stuff. But, you know, that is a lobby that a diamond player should be in. And notice he's off already. Like, doesn't even hesitate here. He's just off. He doesn't even know where he's flying to yet. But he's going to figure it out. Yeah, let's go take top church. And I'll, I'll spoil this for you. We play the rest of the game right here. We're going church. Yep. Going top, drops down low, uses right Mountaineer to his advantage. Down, thirsted, see you. Good night. Interrogating this guy. No, he's, he's not, not going to interrogate. Notice one down below, and he gets caught in a really bad spot I'm here. I, I cracked one. Yep, he's dead, which isn't an issue. Again, he's diamond one player right there, minus six death fee, still at plus 47. But in this yeah, moment, we have one goal. TCAP and I have to stay alive. And you're going to see this again here in a little bit where... As a team, so guys, you need to be uh, really, right. really strategic. I'm last up here. Smokes. Got 12 seconds. I'm going to open that crate here, in a second, but I did get PA'd, right? Which is why I did not open that crate. I got PA'd. Three seconds, open that crate, okay? Did you hear what he said? Once it gets to down. three seconds, open that crate. And then go open you that can crate. see the way his mind works, right? He's always thinking. Beautiful. Now, beautiful, the last beautiful, beautiful. thing that I will nice say job. here, um, the last kind of major thing that I do want to talk about, which is something a lot of you guys struggle you with. Can. Smokes, 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 smokes. Use them religiously all the time to so rotate right now, right? use them offensively oh use them defensively buy munis if you have to so but use your smokes yeah. and you're going to see us use a ton here during this end game down and thirsted the right roof. there there's two more okay two more yep two more down below and now respawn is disabled i make a major blunder here yeah i just didn't expect that guy to actually be in that that little area right there huge mistake on my end puts us in a very very bad situation but tk uh Ebates is going to win that gunfight. One tip that I can give you here for uh, for these sweatier lobbies, especially as you're getting into platinum and stuff, a lot of players are going to be running meta weapons, so a lot of the builds are going to be the same. Use that to your advantage. Confidence while challenging. Hip firing right there wins that gunfight. Pushes right back in, and then we go with the regain. Hey, TCAP, come with me here. Bottom floor. TCAP, where are you? TCAP, how are you looking? Not great. Not great. Okay, just just pull back. Get to me first floor. Yeah. Get to me first floor. Now, what is Ebates thinking in this moment? Ebates is already thinking about the buyback. He's um, already thinking about the buyback. Yeah, smoke or not? I mean, we have the we have the buy station right here, and now we're back to full strength. Now we're back to full strength, which is exactly where we want to be. He's got loadout guns. It's all three of us. No self revives or anything, but we're in a really, 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 really good spot. Still people in tower, yeah, right? So we know that. that they're in tower. Once but we're just going to chill. You know, one of the biggest lessons you can take away from this, guys, is like, especially during these end games, we want to be getting kills because that's how we're going to maximize SR. But be strategic about it. Like, we're not going to... He's going to kind of go halfway up tower and then go, and eh, now nah, that's not a good play. You know, we're not going to push too aggressively. We're just going to wait till this next circle here. Because he tagged this guy a little bit. Again, why does he shoot that guy? He gives away his location. But more importantly, guys, again, if that guy dies and Ebates kind of does a little bit of damage, he gets the assist, which gives him SR. Yeah, so that's kind of why he's a little aggressive on the trigger right there. I do have armor box if we need it. Oh, I have a breacher drone. Uh, you can throw it down. Yeah. Go with armor box. We're getting PA'd. Everybody's got kill streaks. We're just going to wait. We're chilling here. Yeah, yeah. We've got control of this building, which is great. Notice he's going to grab the thermite right here. Always make sure you have something. Something is better than nothing. Plenty. Still those guys up top there. I love this end game because of the way we rotate it. I don't think he's up there anymore. Wow. Can't quite get that down. Right yeah, he did get no bullet right there. That's unfortunate. Still uh, just playing here, guys. Down. We're in no rush. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait these it's 20 seconds out, or... and then we're basically going to see where circle pulls, and then from there we can make our next decision. We're also just getting placement points, letting letting everybody else kill each other. Yeah, tag him. Yeah. 
I mean, I picked up a kill right there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to see where there's a circle pulse. As soon as the circle pulls, we start to make a decision. They are, they are. There's a guy there on that blue Watch. Thing, right? oh my gosh, dude. He's thinking. Yo, He's... Follow me, follow me. Yep. And notice what? Notice what? Notice we rotate this early here. Okay? We're not waiting. We're not playing the edge of gas. We're rotating this early and watch how many smokes we use. I mean, this is an annoying amount of smokes, guys. But these are the decisions that will win you games. Okay. Smoking. One. I got two smokes. Dead, dead. Smoking. Two. Three. Uh, buy muni if you can. Whoever has money. Buy muni. I buy ar armor. Drop cash. There's two. Money. So that we're up to five smokes down now. Go down ASAP. Yeah, muni down, muni down. Muni, muni down. down. There's six smokes. I'm a sky nade, alright? So, there's the sky nade, right? It's gonna hit on top if we if we get a little bit lucky. But he's gonna push. Yep, one's up here. Push to pressure on. Down. There's so nice. six smokes there, guys. We just kept using them and using them and using them. And obviously, we used them to buy a muni to then use more. It's a great tip right that you now, can bro. use for endgame. Yeah. When we look at this circle, guys, biggest thing to note... I want you to remember this. This house is not in. We've got a bunch of people down to our right side here. So we actually have really good control of this circle at the moment. We do have to rotate a little bit, but we have really uh, good control of this circle. Cracked one. Watch this window here. Look at where I'm look at where I'm looking, by the way. I'm looking this bottom window where people have to rotate. Yeah. Gonna pick up a lot of free kills here. Yeah. That height. On your left, guys. Blooping, blooping. Careful that. Yep. Careful that. Yeah, yeah. Looking, they are in zone. Smoke them off. We need to people rotate. Flying, flying you notice what he just did right there? Yeah, now, they window blocked it with a trophy. Left, guys, but what did he do? That, he yeah, yeah. smoked well, them. Smoke them right? Flying, Not because he wanted to rotate to them. If there's a smoke here, right, they cannot see. They cannot see us. Right? They can't see us rotating this way. So he says, hey, smoke them off. Another thing that you can use during these end games. Smoke them to then we'll rotate. Well. Down below me. Watch come PA. Come He's just going to play this angle still right here. Smoke, still has time. Still has durable. durable. I'm going to get a kill right on the rock. Down. Thirsted. We're in a... Right what? I don't even know what we're in. This end game ends so quick right here. Reset, reset. We're in a 3v4 situation, situation essentially, with enemies. 3v2, so it's a 3v1v1 at this point. Okay, so 3v1, last guy's floating. We're all going to get tags. I get my tag first is something you guys should be doing if you're in a 3v1 situation. Make sure you all get the assist. So he got one. TCAP got one. He got one right there. There's plus 10. It's a 212 or 218 SR game for him. Obviously, really good game all the way around for us. He's going to pull up scoreboard here in a second. 22 kills, 10 assists. I had 10 and 7. TCAP was in the blender, but still comes out with a ton of SR because of assists. Obviously, we get first place placement points right there. So just a really good game all the way around. I think biggest thing, guys, focus on that information component. Keep the control keep the pressure, make sure you're trading, getting that first initial down and then putting that pressure on. Um, use your smokes as well, guys. They're a huge advantage in ranked. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today and I will see you tomorrow.